What is up, y'all? It's your boy Nick, and I'm back again with another episode. And uh, this is from an, a person I never, I don't even, even uh, company man. The, the title got me. It says Nickelodeon, the rise and fall. Now I don't know where the fall part comes from. If y'all, uh, I forgot what video I did. I did a video like a while, like a while. Uh, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, by the way. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. You already know what's up. But I did a, I did like a video a while ago. I forgot what I was talking about. I, I think my favorite. I don't know. It had to do something with cartoons or some shit. And I seen this and I was like, oh no, what is this, man? What is this, man? They're talking about uh, Nickelodeon. Now, mind you, once again, I am a cartoon network baby I am a cartoon cartoon network baby cartoon network is my favorite my favorite out of the three I don't know how I, rank, I know I did rank them but I don't know how I ranked them but I know for sure that cartoon network was number one cartoon network just had the most heat in my opinion even though they were limited because they didn't have other options like you know nickelodeon or a uh, disney channel but i'll be honest with you my thing was more for the for the cartoon lane i don't i didn't really care for the live shit you know what i'm saying except for you know obviously there's a few exceptions obviously you know what i'm saying that's raven it's lindsey mcguire you know uh even stevens my cousin my cousin skeeter you know what i'm saying those were the like, you know what i'm saying you know uh, uh sister sister you know the list goes on you know what i'm saying but other than that i'm just like oh yeah and we're gonna get to nickelodeon but like in their life shit well i did name something but y'all know what i mean though like you know what i'm saying i was a cartoon nigga <laughs> it was a cartoon baby. <laughs> Golly, that did not sound right. Uh, but I love Nickelodeon, bro. Nickelodeon got heat too. Nickelodeon got the heat. Nickelodeon got the heat. And it even got one of y'all favorite shows of all time too. It got Avatar on there. Nickelodeon had one of the best shows of all time. SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Other shows. Keenan and Kale. All that. The Amanda Show. I guess for you other people, uh Drake Drake and Josh. I didn't really watch Drake and Josh. You know, I wasn't really into like the Drake and Josh, Hannah Montana's and all that shit. I wasn't really into all that. Uh, those weren't my forte. Uh, and you know beyond after that like i don't i have no clue but i'm telling you bro spongebob alone single i'm gonna be honest with you after like the golden era of nickelodeon spongebob pretty much held it for nickelodeon for <laughs> for to now still holding it Cause I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't even, kids ain't even watching TV anymore. So it's like, what are they really like? What are they really sh like? To me, I feel like if y'all gonna, if y'all wanna read like, cause Nickelodeon, I think they got their own YouTube. Oh yeah, my bad, Timmy Turner, uh, not Timmy Turner. Uh, but like, like, uh, like I said, there's a lot of goats. Up there. SpongeBob is one for sure. One of my favorite, Jimmy Neutron. Fairly Odd Parent. Another one of my favorites, and it's a very slept on underrated show, Chalk Zone. Absolutely one of the best cartoons on that shit. Niggas don't know though, niggas don't know, but it is what it is. But Nickelodeon, Nickel I feel like, like I said, Nickelodeon had, had, a, had a balance of great cartoon shows and great, like, I, what do you call them, live action shows, whatever. That's why I fuck with Nickelodeon. I think Nickelodeon was second on my list, I think, I don't remember. It was either Nickelodeon or Disney. It, it, Cause it, like I said, you can't really put one above the other, bro. Cause they're both 
they're both like you know what i'm saying they're both equally just as like you know they're both equally just as fire uh, but i didn't know nickelodeon had a fall you know what i'm saying shout out to nick cannon because you know he ain't he like the ceo of Nick nickelodeon ironic enough ain't he the like the the ceo or some shit like that what happened bro Y'all need y'all need like a what like bro y'all need like a wild and out version for like a kids version of wild and out put that shit on Nickelodeon I guarantee you that shit goes hundred percent and you know what this reminded me of though because I did see that they did do um they did re I they did bring back um they did bring back um all that like the new shit. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I think I've seen some shit on YouTube. I, I'm gonna be honest with you. You know, obviously the jokes weren't really, you know, they're not aimed towards, me, you know what I'm saying? They're not obviously because they're aimed towards kids, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of the jokes, they weren't, you know, they didn't hit the same, you know what I'm saying? Like for me, but apparently I feel like kids, I feel like, but the one thing I do, I would say, I feel like kids are really liking it that are watching it on YouTube. I feel like a lot of them are, uh, for the most part. Like I said, it, like they brought, like y'all, like this is the one thing that's different, like bro. When niggas are talking about when they need to bring back shows, you gotta understand or realize, like bro, if they gonna bring back something from a long time ago but change some shit, you can't really get mad because, and I'm, and I'm talking about like like the all that's or like you know if they were were to bring back like, uh, I've heard they were also trying to bring back uh, the Proud Family and shit like that, like bro. I can't wait for that but um you know but i feel like but you know people c complain about how spongebob ain't funny and shit no more it's like bro spongebob ain't made for you like the newer episodes are not made for us for you for us no more. as a kid they were hidden they're made for us mind you back in the day they got they got away with a lot of shit more than they do now but you know they're not made for y'all so like when they make when they start rebooting shit like the that the uh, what's that show called y'all know what i'm talking about um i was about to say two and a half men no but like y'all know what i'm talking about the one when they're like in and, you know i'll forget it whatever because i'm not gonna remember let's 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 watch this video nickelodeon the rise and fall whoa what is this whoa okay i want to assure you that i try to be as objective as possible in this in this video, but I'm sure you can understand that when analyzing a creative network like this, it's hard to do. So just realize, this is not an opinion piece, but my own opinions do influence the video more than usual. I should tell you right away that I used to be one of the biggest Nickelodeon fans that you'll ever see. Bro, like, even looking at the shirt, I'd be forgetting that they had so many hits on there, bro. Hey, Arnold? Hey, Arnold? Classic show. The Rugrats, and that's just crazy. That I couldn't even remember the Rugrats. I recently just rewatched one of the one of my favorite Rugrat movies of all all time, which is Rugrats in Paris, bro. That shit. If you tell me you did not cry during that shit, you are a capper. Hey Arnold, Roscoe's Modern Life, Rugrats. Shall I continue? Come on, bro. I was born in 1991, so I'd say something like oh, you from were 1994 head. through 2004, I watched everything that they had to offer. Double Dare, Rugrats, Ooh, all that. Double Are Dare? you afraid of the dark? Ooh, I used to get so scared watching that. Kids. If you had asked me to list my bro, top. Double Dare, the temple, the temple game, the hidden temple game, whatever they did, they need to bring back guts. If you don't know what guts is. You not a real, you ain't a real 90s baby if you don't know what Guts is, bro. One of the best, like, bro, I've been, I've been, I, like, I ain't even gonna lie to you. When I first seen that shit, I was trying to get that on there, like, so bad. And it was easy for me because, like, bro, like, mind you, I think the, the, the old Nickelodeon headquarters or whatever, I think, um, or not the headquarters, but the studio that they filmed all, like the All That's, the Amanda Bynes show, um, like, you know, the, the Double Dare and all that shit. It was in Florida. 
So I was like, bro, low key, man, man, send me up there, bro. I was trying to go up there so, bro, I was trying to get on guts so, like, bro, I wanted to be on that. Mind you, the time that I seen that shit, I don't know when guts like finished airing. I wasn't even old enough to be on the show. I think you had to be like a minimal of uh, 10, I think. You had to be 10 years old. I wasn't even remotely close to being 10 when I when I first seen it. So like, bro, like, 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 bro, like, I was like, bro, like, it'd be impossible for me to get on there. But like, bro, afterwards, I was like, bro, come on. Like, and it, it like, bro, I wanted to be on that shit so bad, bro. If you don't remember Guts, you ain't a real, you ain't a real one, bro. You ain't a real one, bro. Let's get to you, bro. Ten favorite shows. At least eight of those would have come from Nickelodeon. I Guts. have so much faith in that network that I would actually sit there and watch shows that I didn't even like because I figured they must be good if they're on Nickelodeon. Do you remember that show, The Brothers Garcia? I used to hate when that came on, but for some reason, nine-year-old me would never miss. Hey, that's an racist. That's racist. Go way back to the early 1900s. Not the network, but there were these cheap little affordable theaters, usually in urban areas, that would show movies. The word Nickelodeon. Odeon is a combination of the word nickel, which is... I never heard of that. I don't even remember that show. Odeon, which is the Greek word for theater. They were cheaper than going out to a play and really just one of I don't the even cheapest remember that show. of entertainment at the time. I know we're talking the George about George Lopez show is fucking fire, though. But still, a nickel was not a Tell bad me price for different. a night of entertainment. By the 1910s, there were thousands at of night? them across the United States, and people were starting to yes, see the potential of the sir. industry. The movies and the theaters started getting bigger and better and more expensive. Eventually, these Nickelodeons were phased out. But the name lives on. Let's skip ahead 60 or 70 years to April 1st, 1979, when Warner launched a new television channel called Nickelodeon as the first network for kids. And I realize the name doesn't seem to have any connection until you see their original theme. Introducing Nickelodeon. Children's programming. Wait, Nickelodeon was the first one? I thought Disney was. And a mime with this old timey music. Honestly, I don't get it. Maybe things were different back then, but that looked like I would never Pi expect this uh, early Python. 1900s theme to be appealing to children. It just doesn't seem fitting. Plus, considering they didn't show old movies or shows, it just doesn't fit. Maybe they got that same impression, because after a couple of years, they dropped yeah. it and brought in some more color. But through all of this, nothing was really happening. They did have a hit show called You Can't Do That on Television, sort of a sketch comedy thing. It's actually responsible for introducing the green slime to the network. But other than that, things uh. were pretty weird week and Didn't people weren't really watching Nickelodeon. Now, you wouldn't know it from watching the network. Nickelodeon was Nickelodeon slime. Nickelodeon's literally slime like forever. MTV. In fact, in 1984, MTV and Nickelodeon were brought together into a division called MTV Networks. On January 1st, 1985, VH1 was created and added to that division. Let me and find out they're about to do Jersey Shore on that to Viacom. It was a deal Jersey Shore on Nickelodeon? No, sir. And also included half of Showtime. Uh, just a, a reality show? Ugh. I want to express Nickelodeon how is. insignificant Nickelodeon was to this deal. When CNN reported on it, their headline was Viacom buys MTV, no mention of Nickelodeon. They only bring it up once, halfway through the article, when they finally say that they also produce Nickelodeon, but the real prize here is MTV. At that time, of all the cable networks, Nickelodeon was in last place. I think it's safe to say that they were insignificant, but Viacom must have seen potential because they invested pretty heavily in it and amazingly were able to turn it around. As far as basic cable network rankings, Nickelodeon went from last place in 1985 to first place by 1995. Let's take that a look at sense. how they did it. For one, they looked at some of the successful aspects of MTV and applied them to Nickelodeon, mainly the graphics. MTV used to have all these crazy, colorful animations and graphics it sent a cool modern vibe. And I didn't even get to watch MTV until it. like. They figured this would be perfect for our kids until like network. high school. For the second half of the 1980s, they introduced everything that I associate with the network. I'm talking all these wild animations with the color orange everywhere, the iconic splat logo, and more importantly, <laughs> they also introduced Nick at Night, which was Ooh. just a bunch of old sitcoms that they would air later in the day when all the kids were. Yo, Roseanne used, used to hit different, bro. Roseanne used to hit different. The most important important one came in 1991 when they introduced Nicktoons. You probably know that it's more expensive uh, to produce Look at that boy Doug. Uh, shows, but Viacom was finally able to Which I know about that Doug, bro. Y'all don't know about that Doug. Work for kids without cartoons. Y'all don't know about Doug, bro. So I that they saw the 
this as being That's almost crazy. essential. In August of that year, they introduced their Stimpy. first three cartoons. There were Ren and Stimpy, Rugrats, and Doug. I'd say that's a pretty incredible start. I never really I watched Ren and Stimpy. Classics today, and really, I would consider just but about Doug? any cartoon they made in the 90s. And y'all know about Rugrats. Have Rocco's Modern Life. Yes, ah, sir. Real Monsters. <laughs> hey, Arnold. What do y'all know about the real monsters, bro? Y'all don't know about the real mo <laughs> Bro. Y'all don't know about... Oh, my God, bro. I used to love that show, bro. Yes, I was the one of those kids that used to like the really weird... It was a really weird show, but, like, you know, like... Just like, just like, uh... Just like, uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog? That was me, bro. <laughs> Courage the Cowardly Dog is one of the best anime... <laughs> Kablam, the Angry Kablam, Beavers, Angry dog, Beaver, the Cat Wild Dog, Berries, Wild Thornberries, Rock. Oh my God. <laughs> bro, this is bringing me back to ch bro. And I know I mentioned this in another video about Rocket Power, bro. Rocket, they need to bring this back, bro. Nickelodeon, y'all need to bring this back, bro. Y'all need to bring this back. Rocket Power, oh my God. Rocket Power. That was my shit, bro. Shout out to the homie. Bro, this is literally Shrim Life. <laughs> Shout out Otto, bro. <laughs> this is really Sway Lee. He <laughs> slipped Jimmy. <laughs> they really are, bro. I forgot his name, but shout out Otto, bro. Shows too, Invader Zim, the fairy. Invader Zim, parents, oh Jimmy yes Neutron. sir, yes it sir. Wasn't all Nick he, what about all this he, live action oh. stuff? In 1990, they opened Nickelodeon Studios, where they filmed all sorts of live action shows. Yeah, this was in Florida. Probably, uh, Clarissa explains it all. All I've never that. seen it. Keenan and Kel and all the wacky game shows like Double Dare and Figure It Out. In yes sir, Figure It Out. Viacom spent eight billion figure it dollars out. to that buy game's... the majority stake of the film studio. I think, didn't Paramount they bring that back? Pictures. They started putting that synergy to work when they teamed up to create Nickelodeon movies. Their first release was Harriet the Spy in 1996. I think I've seen that. Good Burger, The yes, Fowler Year, The Rugrats Movie, The yes, Year sir. After that. Again, all classics in my opinion. Now, I know everyone wants to hear about what happened to Nickelodeon. What went wrong and why are they so bad now? The idea on my website says Nickelodeon, parentheses, rise and fall, but I have to be honest, I don't have perfect answers as to why they've fallen, nor am I completely convinced of this fall. So instead of trying to make these arguments, I'd prefer to just talk about what's been going on. Nickelodeon is still owned by Viacom. Hey, you, hey, you still, you, you did forget about Chalk Zone though. But hey, I'm gonna let it slide though. For now. Com, which at this point I'm sure you realize they have a You'd lot be more really going forgetting on. and since they don't what separately report real bangers bro it real makes it heat difficult to see how the network's been doing however they have been reporting how many subscribers they have from 1993 all the way to 2016 looking at this graph you may be quick to draw conclusions and say right about 2010 Nickelodeon went bad and they've been declining ever since I would address that I mean but I'm gonna be honest with you I I don't feel like Nickelodeon was the only one that got hit by that bro I feel like cartoons in in a like in a general sense fell off in 2010. I'm gonna be quite honest with you, bro. I'm gonna be quite honest with you. For, like <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it a buck. Like I feel like from 2010, not only did Nickelodeon fell off, I feel like Cartoon Network and Disney Channel when it comes to that fell off with those shits. Cuz if y'all see like in it ain't Ain't no hate towards the newer stuff that's coming out, but let's be honest. Let's keep it a hundred. Let's keep it a buck, bro. Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, and Disney from like 95 to like 2008, 2009, you're not touching that. Like all three of them were at their peak at the same time, which is the sad part because Anything outside of 2010 and ab above, niggas is not watching, bro. They just not. They really not. I would say, I guess for Cartoon Network, I, I would say, because I will say that I did really, like, I really, I did like uh, uh, Adventure Time. I'm not going to cap about that. I really like, I actually really like Adventure Time. Uh, Low key, at first, I didn't really like Steven Universe, but then I started watching a little bit more, like, Low key, yeah. Steven Universe it goes. And obviously regular time, bro. Regular time, that's that's heat. 
you can't tell me different. Regular time heat. But the the reason why these shows hit because they remind me of the old Cartoon Network. And then now a lot of these shows now, and it's like no disrespect to them, but like a lot of these shows now, they are not even like, they're not, they're just simply not good. They just not, bro. A lot of them are just trying to fill agendas and fill, like force, like a lot of them are just doing too much, bro. A lot of them, bro. They're trying to apply too many shit, like too much shit, bro. They're trying to make shows center around a lot of topics that nobody, well, not, I'm not going to say nobody cares for it, but like they're trying to center around a lot of topics that like, you know, nobody's really asking for, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, and there's no disrespect, but I'm like, if I'm, as a kid, like, you're trying to push a, a message, you know, about, like, fucking, uh, you know, we can go as far as, like, race and shit, like, yeah, I get it, yeah, because a lot of these kids are very smart nowadays, like, they, they, they're very aware, they're a lot more smarter than y'all think, but as a kid, like me, I'm, like, bro, I wasn't really necessarily worried about, like, you know, race and, like, all that. Like, I watch cartoons to be, to get away from that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? That's not the type of shit that I want to see while I'm watching TV and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, about a, if I'm not sitting up here trying to watch a TV uh, on some, like, on some drama shit, listen about a boy, you know, that wants to transition into a girl or some shit like that. Like, I'm not, like, as a kid, I'm not trying to, like, it's cool, yeah, but, like, I either, either A, I'm going to be too young to understand, or B, I'm not going to care. I'm just keeping it 100. I'm not going to, like, either I'm going to be too young to understand, or don't care. And y'all be putting that, like, y'all, and, like, a lot of them been, like, they're not focused on what they were originally. Cartoons, bro. Y'all just trying to push, like, messages and agendas and all this type of shit, like, bro, like, nobody, like, not saying nobody's trying to hear that, but as a kid, if I, and I have to specify this because I know if niggas gonna take the shit out of context, but I'm talking about as a kid, as a little ass kid, in a cartoon, in watching a cartoon or Nickelodeon, whatever, whatever, whatever I'm watching, I don't care about, like, I'm trying to enjoy the show for the show, you know what I'm saying? Trying to escape all the realistic shit. Like, cartoons are meant to s escape reality, right? That's why they're, like, after school. Because what's the main thing that you, like, what, what was one of the main things that you want to do when you usually go home? You had, like, for me, like, I probably had, like, three or four options. Either go chill at the homie's house, probably talk to some girls, come home, or come home, play some video games, or watch TV. When I came home... And if I'm watching TV or playing video games, I'm trying to escape all types of realities of me, like, for me, like, you know, being bullied at school. Um, and, and, like, I get it. Like, and when I say this, like, bro, it's okay with the messages. Like, sprinkle them there, here, and there. You know what I'm saying? Because they're needed. Don't get it. They're needed. But sprinkle them there, then, then and there. But don't make it, make it the whole series. Don't make it a show based upon it. You know what I'm saying? But, like, when I'm coming home from school, I'm trying to escape the reality of me being just being bullied or some shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm escaping reality of, like, you know, uh, you know, me getting rejected by a girl or some shit. I'm just listing off shit that, you know, I don't know, kids would go through. Like, I'm trying to escape reality that I got to I gotta test. I got to, like, on the weekends... Like when I'm watching cartoons, like or watching tsunami and shit, like I'm escaping the reality of okay, I got a test that I got, I got a, I got a spelling test on Monday. I'm not trying to sit up here and stress about it the whole time, bro. You know what I'm saying? I got a test on Monday. I just fail, or I just like here's a big one. I get home, hopefully get to watch. If I got in trouble that day, hopefully get to at least watch one or two episodes, escape from reality. Before I get my ass beat and get grounded and not be able to do any of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's an escape from reality. I'm not sitting up here trying to get all these fucking messages and shit. Y'all trying to push agendas and shit on, 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 like, bro, no, that's like, like, bro, I'm just a kid, bro. Let me be a kid. Y'all trying to make these kids grow up too fast, bro. Y'all making these kids grow up too fast. They're not, they're not even being able to become kids. 
They're not even be able to become kids. Yeah, a lot of the shit as a as a as a as a kid that I was watching were stupid and dumb and didn't make sense. Yes, that is the point. That is the point. The point was for me to not understand it and me just to enjoy it. Just to enjoy it. Just be a kid. When you see SpongeBob and Patrick do some dumb shit that obviously doesn't make sense, I get it. Yes. I mean, I don't get. I mean, like, like when you when y'all see you know Patrick and SpongeBob doing some stupid shit, going jellyfishing, and then Patrick getting Patrick getting zapped or some shit like that, or the hook episode like shit like that. Like those are shit that are like like when I'm coming home to watch like, oh that shit funny. I don't have to sit up here and re constantly remember or remember that I got a test or some shit or some bad shit that ha happened or some shit like that. Hey, bro, I don't want to sit up here and come home and having to uh, watch some shit that I just literally just got through going through at school. I don't want to watch a. I don't want to like I don't want to watch an episode of on um, bullying when I just came home from from that. Seeing somebody get bullied and then come and be like. And then watching the episode about bullying and, and and you know and that being the one kid that just sit sit there and stand there and shit like I'm not trying to see all that. I get the message, yeah, but like, bro, I'm trying to watch some cartoon. I'm watch. I'm trying to watch, watch some dumb shit, bro. I don't know, bro. This was like the sh the shows nowadays. It's not, and I get they're not for me because obviously they're not. I don't even watch cartoons anymore. But I'm just saying, like, but. Like, like they fell off though. They fell off. They really did. And now you understand why people are wanting the old shit back. And I hate saying that because I always want to move on, move forward, and progress. I don't like. I don't necessarily pertain to old shit. I like being nostalgic at times, yes. But ultimately, moving forward is the key. like. You know, that's the thing. But like. You be asking yourself, be like, no wonder why niggas want to watch, you know, old shit, because it hit different, bro. It just, it just hits different, bro. Even, even younger kids, even younger kids seeing old shit, they be like, bro, this shit, like, that shit. <laughs> oh my god, kids are just too smart these days, bro. Kids, kids, kids will watch like some old dumb shit that you used to watch in the past, and they be like. Bro, this shit ain't even funny. This shit's actually low key kind of whack. And you just be like, shit your ass. <laughs> but then you Netflix be like, okay, you low key, you got a really point. grown but... over that time, especially you know that? with kids, and have caused people to cancel their entire cable package. There's this whole cord cutting movement, and you can expect to see a similar graph for most cable channels, with their peak being right around 2010. And yeah. as recent as 2015, their SEC reports claim that they've held on to that number one basic cable spot every year since 1995. So it's yes, been like is declining in this aspect, but I wouldn't really. It's Thanks, been like seven fault. years Other since I've watched cable television. Nickelodeon Studios. <laughs> you know, after every show, they would always have that shot of it with the green fountain in frame. I always wanted to go there. And 2013. Now I'm sad to say that I never will because they shut it down in 2005, which I know sounds like a bad sign. 2013 was shut the last it down year because the network shifted away from those game shows yeah. and the live action stuff that required a studio audience. Sad. I'd say the fact that this place is gone means that. And it and I. Like bro, like this sucks because I just heard about the the One Piece uh, uh thing too that they're canceling, they're shutting that down too, bro. When I heard about when they shut this down, bro, I was so sad, bro, because my dream, like one of my dreams, was always to to be able to come here, bro. Like this shit looks so lit, bro. And when they shut that down, it's like, bro, you starting to come into reality, like, bro, low key, all like, like this shit is like really like changing the ties, like, bro, you don't understand, like, as a kid seeing this. Every kid in their mama wanted to go to this shit, bro. Every kid wanted to go to this shit. You just see it on TV and be like, damn, one day I'm going to go there, bro. Whether if I'm a kid or an adult, or I'm going to take my kids to go see that shit. You wanted to go there, bro. And it sucks now because especially now this shit would, it, it makes sense because even now, like, bro, you, there's no way you would be able to go because, you know, the cordyceps and shit. But, like, bro, like, see, like, this shit just makes me really just want to go back outside <laughs> low key like i never really i never really like leaving the house anyway unless if i really wanted to do some shit that was not like going to go you know do some participating activities that i'm not supposed to but 
Let's get let's get see. I don't know what I'm talking is about. now different, but not necessarily worse. Everything's so digital now. Get really Nobody's a going places. Big no argument more. going around is Nickelodeon has gotten lazy. SpongeBob premiered in 1999, evidently on my birthday. It was a big hit, Ooh. and they've since been oh, he's a, far oh, too reliant on it. The creativity is gone, and they're spending all their efforts on what they know already works, and are too reluctant to take any chances on something new. Now I will say this: so I feel like SpongeBob got the Simpson like effect like spongebob literally has done everything that you can do with the spongebob universe so the lack of creativity is i mean plus it's really hard to be creative especially for a show like this like bro like you literally have been around for so long and you have done everything end it <laughs> you know what i'm saying end it just end it niggas ain't gonna be mad if you end it you don't have to like Shout out to Steven Hillenburg, bro. Or uh, didn't he pass away? So rest in peace to him. Rest in peace to that man. But you know, you done everything that you could, bro. <laughs> it's time to come up with some new shit, bro. Like completely new, not not just in SpongeBob shit. You know what I'm saying? SpongeBob will forever be the goat. I mean, just looking at the Nickelodeon schedule, about half of their time yeah. slots are occupied by Spongebob. I'm not going to dispute this one too much, because I think there's some truth to it, but I will point they don't out got no other heat. been some pretty Spongebob been carrying. to premiere since 1999. We have Invader Zim and the Fairly Odd Parents in 2001. But my thing is like, it's, it's, uh, and I know I keep on pausing, but I, bro, I'm passionate about this, bro, but my thing is like, bro, you, I mean, you see it, bro, like literally the whole, like, and I'm not gonna even cap, like, um, cause I don't, even, I don't watch T, I don't watch TV no more. I haven't watched TV since 2013, bro. It's been almost seven years. But um, oh uh, shit, I forgot. It was like probably like I forgot. Oh, but I like, but I had, but my mom still has a TV though. So I had went up to the, I had, I had seen this shit. No, actually, no, no. Cut this out. <laughs> but it's true though. But like y'all see, y'all see the um, y'all see um, SpongeBob, bro. Like literally, they all they that's all they can play because that's all that's anybody's watching, bro. Cause they're not putting out heat. They don't have. They can't make anything else better. They can't. And it sucks because even the older shows. You can't even show the older shows because I feel like a lot of kids won't connect with the older shows. And then you lose you you lose you lose that audience because then you can't create anything that's new for the kids now. And then when you try to can you know cuz like a lot of kids like even this like my even like bro, I know like a lot of these kids don't like watching the older shit. Some of them do, but not a lot of them though. Like a lot of them will see it, watch it and they'll be like, bro, this shit old or this shit corny. It's true. It's true. It's it's a hundred percent true. They'll be what they like, bro. It just be and it'd be fascinating to me because you be wanting to be, you know what I'm saying? You want to be angry and shit, but like you gotta understand, like these this show was made for you when you were a kid, so it's not necessarily gonna correlate with the kids now, bro, because they're going through a whole different. T whole different things like a lot of these shows that he's about to name off they were relevant at the time especially like as me being a kid like i can get like yes i get why i like these shows a lot because they're classics to me but it sucks for nickelodeon like cartoon network and shit like that because the newer shows that they got they're not hitting because they're not being creative enough and the old shows that unless if they're not like if then if unless if they're like spongebob or some shit they're gonna hit a lot different because they're not made they weren't they're not made for kids for that were born in 2010 and above bro they weren't they just weren't and a lot of those kids are just gonna be like bro this shit's not even funny corny and they're not gonna get a lot of the jokes because they're not relevant to the time that it came in and it sucks it sucks and it's really hard to create good shows any like it's really hard to create shows that gravitate and let because you see what shows last the test of time, you really do. And shows that you that need to be bring back, and then when I say shows that need to be bring back, I'm talking about they need to be bring back, but like in a in a fashion to where like you know, 
niggas like me want to watch it, like watch it type shit. Because anything that like one thing that I hate a lot is when they when they bring it back, but they like re like not necessarily rebrand it. What's the word that I'm looking for? But um, they like what's the word I'm looking for, y'all? I forgot what it is, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Like it's like for the for the Proud Family, for instance. Like there's an old school, or like even SpongeBob, even. Uh, the old school. There's a different. The people distinct the difference between the old school SpongeBob and the new school SpongeBob. And obviously, SpongeBob took a hit on the new school side because a lot of the shit is not funny. It's just flat out just don't make any sense, and it just doesn't make any sense just to us as adults that watch SpongeBob. But it also doesn't make any sense to the kids that are watching it now. It just doesn't appeal anymore. Jimmy Neutron in 2002, Drake and Josh in 2004, Zoe 101 and Avatar The Last Airbender in 2005, iCarly in 2007. Zoe 101 hit different, bro. But I think you get the idea. I'm just like, bro, I know I keep on pausing, bro, but I'm just like, bro, you can't even bring back shows like Drake and Josh and so And I never, and I'm going to be honest with you, I never watched Drake and Josh and iCarly. I never, or Avatar The Last Airbender. Um, but. You can't even, but I know the premise of the shows and shit. Like, bro, you can't even bring back, like, especially Avatar. I don't think niggas would really fuck with Avatar, like, like the newer niggas. Like, the old, obviously, the niggas that are around my age and shit, like, the people that grew up watching this, they gonna gravitate toward this. Not me, because I don't, I didn't, I don't really care for Avatar, but, you know what I'm saying? But, like, all, like, Drake and Josh or iCarly or Zoe 101, like, you can't even bring those types of shows back anymore because it's, they not gonna get it. It's dated. It's just that's as simple as that. Yeah. Still, over time, so it does look like though. this approach has hindered their creativity, or at the very least, their variety. But there are a lot of people watching SpongeBob, so I'm not so sure the schedule has hurt them financially. I think most would agree that the Nicktoons aren't what they used to be. They what certainly don't focus on them like they used to. Same goes for the game shows. A lot of the network John isn't Cena? what it used to be, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's doing bad. See, this is where things get difficult. I look at this list of Nickel Nickelodeon shows, and in my opinion, they start to get bad right around 2004. Drake and Josh I always liked, and that's probably the last one. Then I look at the more recent stuff, and I don't even know what it is. The Thundermans, Game Shakers, Sanjay and Craig. I've lost touch with Nickelodeon, and that raises a question that maybe we should all ask ourselves. Did the shows really get lazy and worse over the years, or have I just seen them differently as I've gotten older? I don't have an answer to it, but it sounds it's, really it's, ignorant it's to me to say as soon as I became a teenager, the Nickelodeon shows got really bad. I'll never say anything bad about the Rugrats or Hey Arnold, I still think they're good shows, but I no longer think they're the best shows that humans can ever hope to create. And I've revisited some of those old episodes of oh, All That recently. Face. Not quite as great as I remember. And I thought this was worth mentioning. Those three original Nicktoons, true. Doug, Rugrats, and Ren and Stimpy, the shows as they premiered and grew big, all had early endings. For Ren and Stimpy, the original creator was fired. I recommend this video by L.S. Mark if you want to hear more about that. For the Rugrats, the original writers had disagreements and a lot of them left early on. A Saber Spark made a good video about that. For Doug, Nickelodeon let it slip away and it was bought by Disney so they could play it as part of their ABC Saturday morning cartoons. I haven't come across a great video about that, but all three of these iconic original Nicktoons went through these major changes behind the scenes that affected the shows after just a few seasons. So, in support of their potential decline, the three shows that helped build that lovable kids network of the 90s, arguably more than any other, all had major issues and that wasn't ideal for the network. But they obviously made it through it. For many kids around the world, including me, Nickelodeon was once something magical. Sure, maybe they've gotten lazy and lost touch with their audience, but I'd argue that with YouTube and all the other on-demand platforms, video games, we now live in a time where it's impossible to capture that same magic through a TV network. Disney does seem to be able to do it, but look how much it takes. I know, I'm all over the place here, so let me summarize. The subscription numbers are down, the famous Nickelodeon studios are closed forever, and the shows just aren't what they used to be. But I think that creates a narrative that sounds much worse than it actually is. Maybe they're different, maybe we're different, let's face it, it's probably a combination of both. Let me know in the comments, what do you think happened to Nickelodeon? I asked the question, but I don't know who can really answer it. At this point, you're either too young or too old to see it from both sides. And I know you may- I just think kids like different shit. 
<laughs> that's just me. That's just I don't think kids are appealed to cartoons no more. That's just quite honest to you. Quite, I mean, quite to be quite honest, I don't think kids. I don't think kids like cartoons no more, or like the gimmicky shit, or like the shit that's like, like how basically like how we are, which is totally fine. Which everything, it would if anything, that's even better because. Well, I won't say necessarily better, but I a lot of like I said earlier, like a lot of these kids now are more grown up than y'all. And I'm talking about as early as three and four. You know what I'm saying? As three and four, bro. I'm talking about yeah, that er yeah, that early. You may be surprised, but if you really think about it, if you got nieces or nephews, or even if you have kids that are around that age, I guarantee you, bro, they different. They different. They 100% are different, bro. They are 100,000% different, bro. And it's crazy It's crazy to think about it, but at the same time, you gotta really realize, like, yeah, they, they definitely, they definitely different, bro. They're a lot smarter. <laughs> I ain't saying that we dumb and shit, but I'm saying, like, they're, you know what I'm saying? Because I'd be surprised, like, bro, like, kids were picking up, right, bro, kids are picking up how to use smart like touch screen like they're using they know how to, they know how to fucking use iphones at the age of four years old. a thousand and a thousand dollar equipment a thousand dollar phone that it can use at the age of four or ipads you know what i'm saying but hey, that's gonna do it. Uh, if you like, leave a leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell to be notified uh, when I'm uploading the video. This was a very interesting and different video. I like talking about old school cartoons and shit, like because that shit, you know, that's childhood, bro. And uh, if you younger and shit, if you watching, hey, I might put you on. You know, you you, you tell me on. You tell me, cause. I'm trying to figure this like we trying to figure it out why the fuck niggas is not gravitating towards the, the the goats like they used to bro why the cartoon network ain't hitting like it used to like why why you know nickelodeon or disney channel ain't hitting like it used to which is the funny part because i can go back and watch old like like i said like i just recently went back and watched uh uh rugrats uh the rugrats movie uh in paris that shit still hit to me the same that it did as a kid, bro. I ain't gonna leave caps to you. But I don't know if that's because of it's if it's because of Rugrats or is it because of my, you know, childhood and what happened to me when that when that movie came out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, cause he cause Loki, he not he not like I, he he not wrong, bro. He not wrong. Cause like sh I'm not gonna even be the I'm not gonna even be that type of dude be like, yeah, everything that I watched back then was golden and shit. Like, yeah. At the time, as a kid, yeah, they were goaded, but you can go back and rewatch some shows on some, like some, and it's only, only like some shows, and you can go back and rewatch and be like, yeah, this ain't really what I remembered it used to be. It ain't, I'm not gonna really, like, I don't know why I gassed it up to be how I used to be, and it's like, it's not really insane. Like, there is definitely a lot of shows that are like that, and for me, especially, especially like in between Cartoon Network. Disney Channel and Nickelodeon. There's a lot of them that don't hit the same like they used to, bro. Uh, but you know that's nothing. And, I, and it's the weird part is like I don't know whether or not it's because I've grown up or whatever. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, I can go back. I I went back and watched That's a Raven. Still hit the same way that it did as a kid. I guarantee you, if I watched The Proud Family, it would still hit the same way that it. Like I've been craving to, I like that's one of the shows that I really wanted to go back and rewatch. Is that that's Raven. I went back and rewatched uh, Kim Possible a little bit when I had this when they first announced the Disney shit. And I I, I ain't gonna cap to you, Loki. I, I went back and rewatched some of the Kim Possible shit. Didn't really hit the hit the same. Not saying that it, it fell off to me. It still was. It still it still felt like okay, this is some kid shit. But like it didn't really hit like how it used to. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It, I, I guess it depends on the episode. It depends on the show and shit. I don't know. But I'm out of this bitch. I'm talking too much, bro. And I already failed my bet, bro. It's 44 minutes. Well, this video is 12. 
This this one this video don't count. I don't owe nobody nothing, man.